one thing I would say that uh, our world tells us about sex is it's all about pleasure. The purpose of sexual behavior or sexual activity is the pleasure that it brings us. If you've ever been to a store like a Barnes and Nobles, Books a Million, um, major secular bookstore, here are a few titles that you're likely to find on the shelf in the human sexuality area. 203 ways to please him. Followed by, by what I figure is the sequel to that, 302 advanced ways to please him. And the list goes on and on. Matter of fact, the majority, the vast majority of the books that are out in our secular world about sexuality all focus on the pleasure. What can we do to experience more pleasure, enhance the pleasure, find more pleasure, find different ways of pleasure regarding sexuality. Let me share with you a few titles of major magazine articles. Now, I, I typically, every couple of months, will take my notebook into a grocery store and just you know, stop by the checkout stand and I'll just start writing down the um, t title of the magazine and the articles that are listed just on the front of the magazine. Here are a few. And again, they all focus on the issue of pleasure. Looks, you know, the pleasurable looks, attraction, the physical pleasure. Uh, here is one. More, hotter, better. Get the sex life you're craving. 789 ways to look sexy. 31 sexy moves he just can't resist. Hottie spotting, where your next boyfriend is hiding. Secrets of male arousal, a surprising trigger to his deepest sex cravings. What even experienced chicks forget to do in bed? Do you start to see the focus? It's on the pleasure. What can we do to find more pleasure, more excitement, look sexier, look hotter, uh, focus on the person who looks hot. But again, uh, I think if we look honestly at society, what we see is a focus on the pleasure. And that's not even to get into the TVs, to the TV shows, the movies. Um, it just you know, is, is abounding.